Greetings, we are here doing a hey. pool shoot with Jesse. How's it going? One of my favorite people. <laughs> We're shooting at this lovely rooftop looking pool shoot or pool area. So we're gonna scout around and figure out the best place to start. So as you can probably tell, I was talking a little bit quieter at the pool because I didn't want to disrupt all the people who were there just relaxing and enjoying their day. Basically, we just shot on the steps of the pool and I had the 8200 Pro with, through the uh, it's a 24 inch kind of travel box. And the 200 Pro was at full power, basically the full day. So it uh, definitely needed more power, like having the 400 Pro would have been perfect, but this Octobox doesn't fit on that one, and I didn't bring anything else, so it was doing its best to keep up with uh, my shooting the entire day. It was doing a pretty good job, but I did make sure I was keeping the Octobox as close to the model as possible to get as much light output on her as I could. Really quickly, I wanted to just show you the setup I was using. I'm using this Westcott Rapid Box. It's a roughly 24 inch Octobox. It uh, has a single layer of diffusion. It generally takes a flash, like a speed light, but what I've done is I've adapted it to use the AD200 Pro, since you can use the speed light head. Uh, if I don't need a lot of power, then I'll use the uh, bare bulb head, but this one gives me a lot more power output. So I've basically adapted this softbox to work with the 8200 Pro, since this thing can work with speed lights. This thing has a Fresnel head. Normally on, if it's indoors or I don't need a whole lot of power, I'll use the bare bulb because then it shoots out in a 360 degree-ish pattern. This one is more focused forward, but this one gives me a lot more power output. So when it's bright days and I'm using it on full power, I'll use the Fresnel head. So when I've adapted this thing to work with the 8200 Pro, and I'll post a video up here of how I did it. But basically I'm using this setup on the boom arm. And now back to the shoot. All right, we've moved over to the second location. It's a little cabana area. And we're gonna use the sun as our main light to give us that hard shadow. And then we're gonna use this uh, 200 Pro with an Octavox as our key light. Like I said in the intro of this second portion, we're just doing this cabana and same thing. I have the AD200 Pro through this little foldable Octobox and you can tell it's as close to the model as I can get it so I can uh, get as much light output out of it as I can. This is kind of the third area we shot in. Just the edge of the pool. Same thing as before, just using the 8200 Pro at full power through the foldable Octobox. We also did this last shot on kind of the opposite side of the pool, but my GoPro battery had died. But as you probably suspect, it's the exact same light setup as the other ones the 8200 Pro full power with the uh, foldable Octobox as close to the model as possible to keep that light output. And as a bonus, it keeps the light really soft. And the same thing with throughout the entire shoot, having that light close to the model keeps it really soft and gives me the maximum output. All right, you guys, hopefully you learned something from this video. Consider sharing it with another friend who's into photography. If you guys do have any questions, leave them in the comments field and I'll do my best to answer them. And thanks everyone for watching.